Okay, in this video we're going to look at geometry word problems. They're the, the three problems that were on the handout that was given in class. Number one, a rectangle is two-thirds as wide as it is long. Its perimeter is 50 centimeters. What are its dimensions? Now first of all, you notice that I wrote down length and width is what we're trying to find. That's what the dimensions mean. So instead of just writing dimensions, please be specific. We're finding the length and width. Now before we fill in our let statements, if there's a picture that you can draw, you need to draw it. Now let's go back to what it says in the first sentence. It says that a rectangle is two-thirds as wide as it is long. You need to start by letting x be what you know the least about. Um, I don't know anything about how long it is, but I know that it's two-thirds as wide as, as it is long. So I'm going to start with what I don't know anything about. In this case, that will be the, the length. So I'm going to let x equal the length, and I'm going to put an x over here on my picture. So that means I need to show what the width would be. And up here it says that the rectangle is two-thirds as wide as it is long. So that tells me that the width is going to be two-thirds times the length. So over here, I can say two-thirds x is my width. All right, now, the other bit of information that we have is that the perimeter is 50 centimeters. Now, what is perimeter? Hopefully you remember that the perimeter is the distance around. You can use um, length plus width plus length plus width if you want to just add all the way around. Because remember, if it's a rectangle, this is also 2 thirds x and this is x. If you want to use a little simplified formula, you could say the perimeter is 2 lengths plus 2 widths. That's what I'm going to use here. So the perimeter for my particular rectangle is going to be 2 times the length, which is 2 times x, plus 2 times the width, which is 2 thirds x. Okay, now we're told that the perimeter is 50, so I can put in a 50 for perimeter. So the perimeter of 50 is 2x plus, now 2 over 1 times 2 over 3 is 4 thirds x. All right, now we've talked about um, what we do if we have fractions. And I have fractions, and I don't really want to deal with fractions. So I'm going to look at um, the fact that I have an LCM, and it's 3. So to clear my fractions, I'm going to take my equation, and I'm going to multiply all the way through both sides, all the terms, by 3. What happens here is I can cancel the 3's here, that 3 will cancel that, and what's left is 150 equals 6x plus 4x. And that's a pretty simple equation to solve. Alright, I got x equals 15, but I also need to know what the width is. So I need 2 thirds x. So in our case, that's 2 thirds times 15, which is 30 thirds or 10. Okay, so this actually can all be circled. That's part of my step four. So I put my little four over here. Oh dear, we should have put our step three here. And then we will write our conclusion. Therefore, the length is, what did we find the length? The length is 15. 
and we're in centimeters. And the width is 10 centimeters. Okay, our second problem says a rectangle whose perimeter is, is 50 feet is 5 feet longer than it is wide. What are the dimensions? So number one, find the length and the width. And I drew a rectangle because that's what I have. Okay, now I know the perimeter is 50 feet, but first of all I need to get my let statement down. So let's let x equal something. Go over and, and ask yourself, which do I know the least about? I know that it's 5 feet longer, so its length is 5 feet more than the width, but I don't know anything about the width. So I'm going to start with the width. Let x equal the width. Then I will represent the length. But this is x, and this is x. Now, looking up here, it's 5 feet longer than it is wide, which means if I knew the width, I would just add 5 to it to find the length. That means this is x plus 5, and the bottom is also x plus 5. When my problem talks about perimeter, I often will write all of the measurements all the way around just to help me remember that I don't just add the length and the width. I have two lengths and two widths. Okay, now my equation. Step 3. The perimeter is 50 feet. That's what I'm going to use for my equation. So the perimeter of 50, how do I get that? I take two lengths times two widths. Well, two lengths would be two times the quantity, x plus 5. You must put parentheses because you need to double the entire length, not just the x portion plus 2 times the width, which is not w, it's x. And there you have your equation. Now I need to solve that. Alright, when I solve the equation, I get x equals 10. But I also need, okay, that's the width, but I also need the length so I need x plus 5. x plus 5, which is 10 plus 5, would be 15. So those together would be my step 4, and then I would write step 5. Therefore, the length is 15 feet, and the width is 10 feet. Okay, here's number three. The supplement of an angle is 30 degrees more than twice the angle. Find the angle measurements. So we're trying to find how many angles? It looks like we have two angles. So two angle measures. All right, now, you need to remember from geometry, or even from pre-algebra, that supplementary angles add to give us 180 degrees. So this is what they look like. If I put them adjacent to each other, I get a straight line on the bottom. That's what means they, to be supplementary, they add to 180 degrees. So, for step two, let's let x equal all right, I don't know anything about the angle, but I know the supplement is 30 more than twice the angle. So the one I don't know anything more about would be the angle. So here's my the angle. So here's x. All right. If x equals the angle measure, I need the supplement. All 
All right, now it says the supplement is, here it comes, 30 more than twice the angle. So 30 more than means plus 30, 30 more than twice the angle. So 2x plus 30. So this guy over here is 2x plus 30. All right, equation. Remember that I told you that the supplement, supplementary angles add to give you 180 degrees. So if I add x plus 2x plus 30, I must get 180 degrees. Okay, so I get x plus 2x plus 30 equals 180, and we'll solve that. All right, you can see that I've solved this, for, and I get x equals 50. Okay, I've got x equals 50, and now I just need 2x, or 2 times 50, plus 30, which is 100 plus 30, or 130. Come over here and put your step 4, and my conclusion would be, therefore, the angles are 50 degrees and 130 degrees. In summary for geometry problems, remember that the perimeter is the distance around. For a rectangle, it's two lengths plus two widths. For a triangle, you would just have to add the three sides. For supplementary angles, please remember they add to 180 degrees, and complementary angles add to 90 degrees. And always draw a picture if possible.